Today was a good day. We got, we got an awesome new phone. So, what's going on everyone? It's Jacqueline here from Nothing But Tech coming from the OnePlus 16 media launch event. That was sick. I actually got to meet some of you there, which was always cool, like taking photos with you guys. That was awesome. So, if you came up to me and you said hi, I appreciate it. Thank you, it was awesome meeting you. Um, I also got to see a bunch of YouTubers, got to see Casey again, we hung out a little bit, um, Matthew Monez, Crystal, Zach from Jerry Rig Everything, Mr. Mobile, Joshua Vergara, a lot, a lot of my friends. Like, it was, it's awesome always seeing them. And we see each other like all the time during the month of October because of all these tech events. But uh, I went to the event and now I'm in a breather, so I apologize if there's Echo or New York City, stuff like that. My apologies, but I wanted to film uh, First Impressions six things that you need to know before buying the OnePlus 6T. It looks like a really awesome phone, so I wanna just run down six things that you should know before buying one. Uh, yeah, so I feel like I should just dive right in. All right, first thing that you should know, and I feel like this is the first thing everyone's gonna to wanna to know, what is the price? All right, so the price starts out at $549. $549. And that's actually gonna be much more of an impact when I go over the other things it has, but that's the starting price. So you're getting six gigabytes of RAM and 128 gigabytes of storage, um, and it comes in the mirror black variant. Then for $579, you're getting eight gigabytes of RAM and 128 gigabytes of storage, and then that comes in the mirror black and midnight black finishes. Then for the next model, you're getting eight gigabytes of RAM and 256 gigabytes of storage in the midnight black model, and that costs $629. So even at the most expensive model, it's still really, really well priced in my opinion. So that's the first part of fact number one. The second part is just that you should know it's available starting on November 1st. All right, so why is $549 so impressive? Well, it's because OnePlus always pushes the envelope and includes the latest technology. So fact number two is that the OnePlus 6T has an in-screen fingerprint sensor and it's the first major phone that's coming to the US that has that. So that's really cool. Uh, and they showed it and I tested it out at the event. And what I will say is it was a bit annoying to set up. It took a lot longer than a standard fingerprint sensor and I felt like I had to push into the screen. Uh, but once it was set up, it's fast. It unlocks in 0.34 seconds, OnePlus was saying. Uh, and it really felt like that. I just put my hand on the screen and it opened right up. It felt intuitive, it felt reliable, and it felt good. Obviously, I'm gonna test that over long-term reliability in the full review, but it's really cool that OnePlus is bringing some of the latest technology uh, to their latest flagship, um, while other main flagships don't have it. Uh, and they're bringing it with a good user experience as well. Fact number three is continuing on with performance. They put all the specs up on screen, so I'm also gonna put them on screen, but they had a representative from Quadcom speak at the event, and they're using the Snapdragon 845 and a bunch of other um, like mainstream specs, and they really are stressing how well the phone is gonna perform. So really, the spec sheet reflects a phone that is double the price, a $1,000 phone. So I think that that is really impressive. Obviously it's lacking some features, like I heard someone say at the event that it doesn't have wireless charging, so I have to confirm that. It has the core features, like it has um, similar camera setup, uh, it has similar build and stuff like that, but the build is, feels different in the hand. So it's glass on the back and the front, but it has a gloss finish, like ceramic-like finish on one of them, uh, and then a matte finish on the other one, and I think that they look great. It still has like the little S design, which I think makes it look unique. Uh, and then talking about the camera a little bit, the camera as fact number three, it has some new features. So they worked with a really well-known photographer to create a mode called studio lighting. Uh, and basically in portrait mode, if it detects a person, it's going to um, change the lighting automatically. Uh, I would love to know if there's a way to shut this off because sometimes it looks overdone. But for the most part, it adds some nice like luminance to different parts of your face to make you look even better on camera. Uh, and in terms of blur and everything, it looks good. I'm gonna have to do a full camera comparison video and I'm thinking I'm gonna do a blind test. So if that's something that you'd be interested in, definitely let me know by leaving a thumbs up and subscribing to the channel. Uh, other things that they announced, um, which is actually coming to the OnePlus 6, is Nightscape mode, which is basically better low light performance. And they showed some samples and oh my gosh, they were good. Uh, yeah, ah, uh, so, so exciting. Uh, it's really, really exciting to me that smartphone cameras are becoming uh, like that good, I just freaked out a little bit, but I for real mean it, it's like, it's exciting. Like you'd have a phone in your pocket and it, it looks pretty good. Like a couple years ago, you'd have a phone in your pocket, you'd take a photo and you'd be like, where, like what was this taken on? Like what was I doing when I took this? Uh, why does it look so bad? Uh, and now you take it and you're like, damn, I'm talented. 
Uh, and it's really the camera doing it all for you. So even in auto mode, it looks really good. Uh, they're doing an advanced um, HDR to portray this effect. Uh, and they showed like a picture of all the different elements that go into it, like noise reduction, stabilization, all that kind of stuff. And the images, I feel like they speak for themselves. They look really good. Obviously, I'm going to have to see if I can replicate those results. But I'm excited if it works out. And they're rolling it out to the OnePlus 6, which I really respect. Because if they didn't, then that would be like an incentive to buy the 6T. So I think it's pretty cool of them that like they're still rolling it out to the OnePlus 6. Other camera things um, is that you still have the two lenses on the back. They still look pretty good. Sharpness definitely looks good. Um, I want to see how the microphone sounds because on the latest Google Pixel 3, a lot of people complained that the microphone wasn't good. So I want to just kind of see how that compares. Uh, and then just things like color reproduction and stuff like that. I'm excited to test it in-house. Again, uh, this happens almost every single time I do one of these. I have no idea what number we're on. So I'm pretty sure it's number four. I should stop like counting because it, it makes me look bad, let's be honest. But I believe we're on number four and it's at the OnePlus 6 uh, T can now have better gaming performance. So they basically said that they're using uh, RAM instead of ROM for storage because it's faster for like gaming stuff in like a speed boost mode, I believe. So you should be getting faster gaming performance a um, more reliable gaming performance. So they said on stage, are we creating um, a gaming phone? No, but this is what we're doing. And I think it's a really interesting concept. So I'm obviously gonna see how it works, but they gave the example of mobile PUBG, which has a 20% faster load time. So that's really interesting. All right, so thing number five to know before you buy this phone is that the screen has been improved. There's now a teardrop notch, which looks so good. Uh, and a much smaller chin, which actually makes all the difference. So it's a 6.4 inch screen, it's color accurate, it's vibrant, it looks good. They also said that they listened to consumers and they added a bunch of different color profiles for the screen, which I think is really great. OnePlus always listens to their community and they really emphasize that. And that's like impressive to me that like they're really taking that to heart. There was a bunch of fans and the community at the event, which I think is really cool. So props to OnePlus on that end, but uh, the screen looked really good in person. And it also seems like it gets pretty bright, so I think direct sunlight is gonna be good as well. Obviously, I'll test that in the full review. Uh, and lastly, the sixth thing to consider before you buy one, and there's gonna be several things here because I should have made this an eight reasons video. Uh, that was not eight fingers. I should have made this an eight reasons video, but uh, I did not think enough in the future, so bear with me. So software, uh, it's Oxygen OS again, and they optimized a lot of things. So they said that they made 500 plus optimizations. One that they showed, which was kind of cute, is when you turn your phone into airplane mode, there's a little like animation of a plane taking off, and then when you turn it off, a plane uh, hitting the ground. So I think that that's really cool. Uh, it's like those little things, right? Like to just make the experience. Also, battery life, you're getting a 3,700 million power battery here. So I'm expecting pretty good battery life. I'm expecting at least a full day's use, maybe a day and a half. And if you guys remember the OnePlus One, it had some of the best battery life on the market. So I'm hoping that uh, we kind of get a comeback here with pretty good battery life. Okay, and then the final thing is that there was a bunch of accessories launched. So they gave me uh, this little gift bag, which is pretty sick. Um, and it came with a sketchbook. It came with um, stickers. Gotta love yourself some stickers. Uh, it came with a wristband, some pins. How good did those look, right? Pins. Uh, and lastly, the Bullets headphones, which they've updated a little bit at the event. Uh, and they're now $69 still, but they come in a new color and some other small improvements. If you want a full video on this, let me know. I'd be happy to make one. I'm gonna remove this from the frame now. I'll push all that stuff back. But yeah, so a lot of stuff. They also came out with a new backpack. Uh, $99, single clasp, looks really clean. I'm excited to see it. And they said that I should be getting one. So be sure to maybe see that in a potential video or at least an Instagram photo. Uh, anyways, thank you guys all so much for watching this video. Leave a like if you enjoyed it. Subscribe right here so you don't miss any other content. Check out my other content right here. And I'll catch you guys on the next one. Bye.